Okay, we spent the night in Rexburg at the uh, airplane museum. And we meant to go across this way, but we ended up going down and over this way. <laughs> I don't know. These things happen. And we came to Arco and up from here to Mackey. And then we came across a nuclear museum. So we stopped there. Then we came up to here. Then we came back down through Clayton and stopped just before Stanley. We're camped along the river right here on the Salmon River. That's what we did today. After leaving the museum, we headed down the highway all through Idaho and then we got to the 75, went down the 75 along the Salmon River and we found some really nice spaces to camp. So uh, there's several places here. Jasmine. Yeah. You enjoying the shade? Huh? What's Jake doing? Watching the river. How do you do one, Jake? Huh? He loves looking out the truck. He's like, what are you doing? I wanna go eat grass so I can puke it up. <laughs> Because <laughs> I have to cut out all my bloopers. Uh -huh. Your bloopers. That's right. <laughs> Just say what I really think. <laughs> Let's talk about camping out again. <laughs> like, don't pull Class A in front of six other people's view. <laughs> when you're in the Tetons. Yeah. That. Don't run a generator and everyone else in the group has solar. Well, maybe they haven't gotten solar yet. It's true. Be respectful of everyone in their space. Where are you going, Jay? He's like, oh, I want to go eat some grass. Yeah. You want to run around and cause trouble. Well, he's getting used to the leash a little bit more. Except he wants a 20 foot leash. Yeah. Mmm, I'm gonna eat some grass. Oh, no, 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 no. After relaxing a little bit, Mark got the drone out and started practicing with it and got some shots of the camper and the river around the area. And, uh, it gets better and better as time comes on. Mark says it's 39 degrees outside. I put my stocking cap on tonight. It was cold. Mm. I think we're gonna sleep in until it warms up. Yep. <laughs> well, that was a pretty nice spot. There's four other places down the river here. How'd you sleep? Yeah, it was great. Right next to the river. All I heard was the river all night. Got a little bit chilly, but that's okay. All I have to do is remember last year when it was so blazing hot, we couldn't get away from the heat. This is really oh, nice. Yeah. And the, and the main salmon is right near within 50 feet of the river. In fact, it was right out the door. So, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful camp. And there's another one right there. That one's not bad either. Yeah, and there's four right along here. And then there were some before, too. It's nice, too, because for anybody that's a boater, which we are, Whitewater boater. There was a ramp there, and they had some very nice signage that showed you what the uh, mileages were from Stanley and above Stanley. There's a put in, and you can actually go below here, but they had different segments, so it's very, very nice. You could do anywhere from a 
one hour float to probably an all day float if you want it with very easy access of course the bad part's always having the highway next to the river but when you're on the river you hardly notice it anyway except for loud motorcycles or trucks so. very very nice beautiful country I love it hi we appreciate you watching our film be sure and to subscribe to our channel and we're on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.